Hey creatives, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Justin Bieber. Actually, it's not, but I look like Justin Bieber. Wow, that was a good joke. <laughs> so I'm Nele. Um, if you didn't know, I make videos about bullet journaling, creativity and self-compassion. And today I have a little bit of a different video for you because we are looking at my pencil case and what's in it. I do enjoy watching those videos by other creators and I thought it might be interesting for you to have a little sneak peek into what I carry around with me and what I like to use most frequently in my bullet journal. And so yeah, that's what we're looking at today. I hope that this can be fun and inspiring, but by any means, I don't want you to feel like you have to buy a lot of stationery and pens in order to bullet journal. All you need is pretty much one pen and one notebook and then you're good to go. But I like to add a little extra fun. I am definitely stationery addicted and I do love pens. So if you love pens, I hope then uh, this is a nice video to watch. And without further ado, let's jump into my pencil case. So this is my pencil case and I think it's a pretty popular one in the bullet journal community. I have seen that a couple of times and to be honest, I bought that pretty cheap off AliExpress. While I also saw that you can buy it at places like Stationery Pal, um, I guess that's up to you. I think it's quite easy to find um, and it's a practical one. If you look at the outside, like it has this uh, system of two zippers. One is for opening it, obviously, and with the second one, you can adjust the height of the pencil case. So. I could probably close that completely, which is a bit tight then, but that makes it a little bit smaller. And if you don't have a lot of stuff in this pencil case, it definitely makes it more, less big. <laughs> um, but I like to have that part open to give it a bit more space and my pens a bit more freedom as if they need that. <laughs> Here on the front pocket, I don't have a lot of stuff in there. I usually put my fountain pen in there. This is a Faber-Castell um, fine tip fountain pen. And this is the one that I usually journal with every single day, my usual writing pen. It is this white plastic um, outside, nothing fancy. I think that was around 13 euros or something but I'm quite happy with it. When we're opening up my pencil case, you can see that it first has this little pocket here and then this little um, flipping thing. And I would think we start with the pocket. That's the most unspectacular thing, I think. Um, in here, I have mostly practical things. I first have a white out rolling thing. <laughs> um, I have my little box with ink for my fountain pens. Pen, not pens. <laughs> I have a little pair of scissors in here. This is often quite handy, it's pretty small. And I have my black grid washi tape. I don't know if you can see the grid in the video, but it has a, s a little white grid on it and I used to put that on the edges of my monthly setups but I have stopped doing that in September. And last but not least I have a little kind of charm in there. This is a little fish skeleton. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that properly. That was on a ne necklace that my boyfriend gave to me and while I was Wanting to clean that necklace, uh, it, the, the actual necklace uh, ripped. And so I was thinking about what I can do with it. I haven't thought of anything yet. So I put it in my pencil case that I don't lose it. Let's put all these things back in here and move on. 
to the flipping part. Here I have my most used pens, I guess. Um, plus this little cute ruler. It has some um, daisies and flowers on it, some greenery. I bought that off Timu. I know. <laughs> uh, it is 15 centimeters long and it's see-through and I find that quite handy but I mostly bought it because I found it was so, so cute. Then I have this little, um, uh, I don't know how that is called actually, this little thing that you would usually use in cosmetics but I bought that to peel off stickers and so far I have not really started to use that properly. I don't know if that's actually too useful for me, but I thought it might be handy to have that. It is actually pretty poorly um, executed, but that's all right for me, especially if I don't use that too much. Then here we have my two Tombow brush pens. They are the Tombow Fudenozuki. <sighs> Fudenoski, I'm never too sure how to pronounce that. Um, the black one is the one with the little more soft tip and then the blue one is the hard tip brush pen and this is definitely one of my favorite brush pens. I don't really have a lot more than these two and one color so far, even though I ordered another Tombow brush pen in brown recently, but that is still on the way to me. Then here we have one uh, Micron Sakura Pigma Micron Fineliner in the size 01 and this is actually a grey fineliner. I like to use that for lines every now and then and to find that more easily I put it in here. And next to that I have my Muji gel pen in the size 038 millimeters. <laughs> Um, this is the pen that I used before I wrote with my fountain pen, but I do still use that for sometimes lines or writing other things, um, sometimes for head headers, so still a pen that I use a lot. And then next to that we have a pencil, which is a mechanic pencil. It is a pretty cheap one, I think I got that from Wish, which is quite a while ago. The little thing on the back already broke pretty soon after I got it. I've had that for ages and I do like using it, although I've been thinking about getting a bit nicer one, one that feels more high quality. Um, but for now it does the job, it's a good pencil. And then we move to the main part, which is the little bag here. First of all, I have a second ruler in this part, which um, is a little bigger. This is a 20 centimeter ruler. I think I got that from a planner ages ago. Um, it's also kind of see-through, not really. It is a bit milky, I would say. And sometimes a 15 centimeter ruler is just not long enough. so. I wanted to keep that in my pencil case. Then there's also a rubber in here, so if I need to erase some pencil marks, that is definitely handy. And then I guess we can sort a little bit through my pens. Um, first of all, I have a lot of colored pens in here. Some of them are the, uh, the Tombow brush pens. Um, I think that's all of them. Then I have four zebra mild liners in here. They come in these natural tones, which I ordered at Stationery Pal the other day. I think this set is relatively new and I think there's also one more color in it that I did not want to put into my pencil case because I don't really use that a lot. And then when it comes to colors, I also have three Crayola Super Tips in here. I wanted to switch them out for the same Tombow colors, but when I was looking for them, for buying new ones, I didn't find ones that 
actually were exactly the same color so I keep them in here as well and the good thing about them is they are really small and just don't take up a lot of space. Then we have two jelly roll pens here. One is a metallic gold pen and one is a white pen. They are always handy and also don't take up a lot of space. I also have a few more Sakura Micron, um, Pigma Micron uh, fineliners in here. They go from 003 to 005, 005, not just 01 and 02. Um, these are the ones that I like to use the most. I have a couple of other ones, but I store them in a separate space. Then I have two more brush pens here. One is another Tombow brush pen, which has two sides. One is a black one, I think that is a bit more soft. And then it also has a gray side, which I honestly don't really use a lot. I don't know why I keep this in this pencil case, but I thought that I might use it more. And then there's this uh, Pentel sign pen in this kind of beige color, which I also don't use a lot, but I sometimes do, and this is why I keep it in here. And then we have two more things, one white pencil, because, or um, how are they called? A colored pencil in white. I've used that to draw on my notebook when I was creating the gold on my Leuchtturm journal and I thought it would be handy to just keep that in here and then I have a um, red erasable gel pen from Muji which I use to mark my period and ovulation in my bullet journal and that is all that we have in here and I thought it would be fun swatching my pens a little bit and for that I got out my um, <laughs> my failed little notebook that's in a six notebook that i wanted to use for the second half of 2023 but it didn't work out because the pages fell apart but i thought to still give it some use we could do this in this journal so yeah that's what we're gonna do now and i think we start with the uh, brush pens that i have And I think I don't say a lot to that. I just leave you with some nice music and we can swatch some pens, have a little bit of fun and yeah. So this was the swatching of all the pens that are in my pencil case. They do tend to turn out a little darker on this specific paper, but I think after a little while they change a bit more into how they actually look. And specifically with these two Crayola Super Tips in the red and brownish shape, I've been looking for the Tombow kind of version of them because I 
like the Tombow pens a little bit better, but I don't find anything that looks just like this. Um, the Tombow pens I feel often are more um, going towards the pure color, while these two versions are more, I don't know, this red looks a little rusty and not like pure red. And I found that hard finding the exact same color. And so I just stay with these two pens or actually three pens because I also like this bluish gray a lot and I haven't found anything like that in the Tombow variety yet. I also realized that the gray uh, brush pen seems to be already a little bit dry. Um, I don't know how long that will still stay good. But I also, as I said, don't really use this pen at all. So I don't know why I put that in my pencil case, but it doesn't take up a lot of space either. I just find the more you put into your pencil case, the more time it will take you to find what you're actually looking for. And so yeah, let's uh, close this back again, put everything back where it belongs, which is pretty fast done. I do really like how this pencil case works. Before this, I had a little bag where you can could adjust the height, but it wasn't really big enough to fit all my Tombow pens in them. And so I wanted to switch to something bigger. This reminds me a little bit of school because it just has the same kind of shape of the pencil cases that I usually had in school. But I do like this one a lot. I like the color. It works for me and I hope it was interesting looking at it with me that you had a good time here. And if you like what I do, if you want to see more of my content and don't miss a new video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I hope that I see you in my next video. Until then, have a great time. <laughs> Bye!